school slowly repeal bans on chatbot 대관한 두 번째 부분입니다. Amid the forecast of imminent marbles and doom, some public schools hit the pause button to give administrators time to catch up. In December, the Los Angeles Unified School District, the nation's second largest school system, blocked the chat GPT on school, Wi-Fi, and the district-owned student devices. Other districts soon followed, including New York City, the largest U.S. school system. But administrators quickly realized the bot bans were ineffective. For one thing, wealthier students who owned smartphones or laptops could simply use ChatGPT or chatbot developed by OpenAI or San Francisco of San Francisco or similar bots like Google's bot at home. Children who have devices and uh, unfiltered, unfettered connectivity at home are already benefiting from access to these tools. Alberto, the superintendent of the Los Angeles Unified School District, said in an interview, students who depend on district devices and connectivity are restricted. In May, New York City schools issued a public uh, the mea culpa, saying the district had acted too hastily and to the unblock chat GPT. This past week, uh, the Mr. C said the Los Angeles schools were also working on a more permissive policy. And the schools are the reopen for fall. Educators and the district leaders are wrestling with the complex question posed by the AI tools. What should the writing assignment look like in an era when students can employ chatbot to, to generate prose for them? How can school teachers and the students use the boss effectively and creatively? Does it count as cheating if students ask a bot to fabricate the drops that they then relight themselves. Some large districts, including Milwaukee, still have chat GPT blocks in place. Some districts, like the Newark Public School, are trying out specialized chatbot designed for student tutoring. Other districts are embracing tools like ChatGPT as lesson planning aids for teachers and as opportunities for students to learn how bots can concoct misinformation and replicate human biases. Administrators say they are simply taking a pragmatic view. Students will need to learn how to prompt chatbots to answer their questions just as they learn to query search engines. The world our kids are inheriting is going to be full of AI, and we need to make sure they are well equipped for it. Both the benefits and the drawbacks. Wade, the superintendent of Walla Walla Public School said in an interview, putting our hands behind the curtain or under the sheet and hoping it goes away it is simply not reality. Walla Walla Upper, a portrait of one district's learning curve on AI this year. School administrators sought to take advantage of the chatbot's potential benefits while working to tackle Sony issues like cheating, misinformation, and the potential risk to student privacy.